Okay, so it's on live. So, let me move this out of the way as much as I can. Ah, I forgot to get coffee. Ugh. Just getting everything up. Just bear with me for a minute. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Aunt Beck. Get a pop out chat going on. Lighting's not too terrible bad. I think I'll turn this off. See how that. Go get your coffee. Thank you, Beck. I think I will do that. Hi, Ian. Hi, AJ. I am going to get a cup of coffee because I, I can't go three hours without coffee. So Can't do it. Okay, got coffee, so the world is a better place. We can proceed with the plan now. Hi, Kat. Hi, Barb. Hi oh, God, I probably missed everybody. Um, hi, Shauna. Do not encourage her, Shauna. Hi, Kat, Kim, Elaine, Ian, AJ. I already said hi to you guys. Hi, Kim. So we'll give people a few minutes to come rolling in here. Um, Eileen has decided that I should um, do Smack and Dragon. And she only did that because she knows I don't do it right. Oh, speak of the devil every time. Here she is. Hi, Eileen. Um, yeah, she knows I can't do it right, so it never comes out. But, yeah, she's setting me up. It's all good. So, yeah, just in time to watch me make a fool of myself. I thought I would use the FW inks for the Smack and Dragon. Um, I could get a few of those out. Oh. So, anyway, what has happened since last week? I'll just get them out of some of them. They're right here. Um, took Cooey to the airport. She's gone home. So, um that was a sad day. Yeah, you love to see me mess it up. I knew that. I knew it was a setup, Eileen. You think you're fooling me. Hi, Mindy. Um, oh, and yeah, Shauna, I liked your hair, too. It looked really cute. So good job on you. Um, hi, Joan. Hi, Dee Dee. Loved your show, Dee Dee. So I was in and out a lot lurking because I really I was arting while um Dee, Dee was arting this morning more cleaning up some things that needed to be finished than true arting but um yeah I love Monday mornings I don't I just love Monday mornings because I know I don't have anything to do but get up and watch Dee, Dee for half the day um I just Monday mornings are just the best so, yeah, I took Cooey and dumped her at the airport, and she's in India now. And um, before um, she left, today, well, let me just say, today we're going to make one of these plastic bags. Um, this is one that I finished while Didi was streaming this morning. Um, 
But before Cooey left, we went ahead and made two of the bags to take home to her girls. So um, I only took a picture of one of them. Oh, I don't even have my camera here. Anyway, so this is what we're going to do today is make one of these bags um, with Smack and Dragon. Which I'm challenged. It's all good. We're going to get over it. But this one on top is my bag. I love it so much. I haven't put anything in it. I just look at it and smell it because... I used Finna Bear Wax on it, and it smells good. And then this one I just finished while Dee Dee was streaming. And believe it or not, Eileen, I only have one bag left. This big one is the only one I have left. So we're going to decorate it today. And then I have these two that I need to finish. I love this peacock one, but I don't know what to do with the plaid one. So hi, Carrie Ann. Hi, Karen. Hi, Carol B. I need more bags. I know, right? Because it always is a fun project. But, yeah. But I need ideas how to finish this one because I have a big hole in the middle. I don't know if I should just smear paint on it or smack and drag in it. I don't know. But, anyway. Yeah, I only have this one bag left, believe it or not. And, otherwise, they've all been giving away everything. Hi, Anna. <clears throat> Um, so last week I spent a couple days kind of cleaning up around here and then Friday I went to Hobby Lobby. Well, we went to Joplin and I did drop into Hobby Lobby because Dee Dee is a miserable enabler and she had gotten the new Prima complexion paints. So naturally I had to go buy the new um, Prima complexion watercolors and honestly I'm going to be the first to say it I need more watercolors like I need a flipping hole in the head but what did I do when I went there went and got another set of watercolors so these are all the colors in there they're going to go on my watercolor swatch string um, they are nice colors I have to say I need, don't tell me Eileen I know but these are really nice colors. I'm glad I bought it. Yay, watercolors. I know. Less is more, right, Ian? Oh, God. Keep saying that. And there's one more set of the Primas that I don't have. But I'm really going to, I'm just going to really try not to do it. But then when I saw you guys last week, Kui had brought me all the watercolors um, that I showed. The Da Vinci, the Renaissance, and the Schmika. And I hadn't, I think I'd swatched maybe part of the Renaissance. Um, I think of all these, I mean, they're really nice. I like the Da Vinci a lot. I like them a lot. They re-wet beautifully, and the Schmincke are really nice. And their, um, their pigment is really, really vibrant. Um, oh, shoot, Elaine. I didn't, is now when I tell her that Prima just released two more sets. Carrie Ann, shh, stop it. Um, I don't do Jane Davenport, but I will do Prima. I like, hi, Brenda, I haven't seen you around for a long time. Um, I like the Primas, and the, the, one thing I like about the Primas, I like them in the Beast. Like, I don't get out my... Um, my dress up watercolors to work in the beast. Um, but I will use my primas. Why? I don't know. I don't know. But I would say based on my limited experience, um, you would be safe with either the Schmincke or the Da Vinci. I, I had wanted the Renaissance. I really had. I mean, I had been saying, I want to try them. I want to try them. Yeah, Brenda, that's kind of how I feel about them. For sketching out in your journal, they're awesome. Um, I'm going to say, and I'm sorry, um, I'm not, I wasn't crazy about the Renaissance. I really wasn't. So, um, yeah, you know, do what you think you got to do, but I'm going to say, 
if if you want to do some nice watercolors, get get a little bit better. Really, that's all I got to say about that. And then I did get some happy mail. Um, Dee Dee said she had sent me something about a week ago, and look what she sent me. She sent me these little Fabriano journals. I love these little bad boys. I love it, anything Fabriano. I love their paper. Um, but yeah, she sent me this little stack of journals, which I don't have a plan for yet. But thank you, Dee Dee. I appreciate it more than you know. Many beasts, I know, right? And then I also got this so pretty. I'm going to turn it over so you can see the envelope without seeing the addresses from um, Judy, J-U-D-E-E, -E, usually in our chat sent me this really, really pretty envelope. This came completely out of the blue, was not expecting anything from Judy. So I was really excited when I got it and I opened it and inside was another one of the Fabriano little journals. And check this out. And I know she sent these to a few of us. Um, maybe everybody who got a, a Shauna journal. Um, but look at this little dangle for my... Um, for my journal. This is so adorable. She made the little um, flowers <clears throat> with clay and then painted them and put them on these little dangle things for um, the traveler's notebook that Shauna made me. So let me move the junk out so you can see this. Look at that. That's so cute. And I did go ahead, Shauna, and um, powder. Well, first of all, I sprayed this with fixative and it did not help the, um, the sticky. And so then I brought some powder in and just powdered it and rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and ended up using, believe it or not, this rubber cement eraser to erase off everything. And now for whatever reason, it's no longer sticky. It's got maybe a little bit, but I think with just normal use and the oils off my hands, that's going to go away. So, yep, I got my journal all put together. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I have so much journals. Jockage powder. <laughs> no, monkey butt powder, Eileen. Look it, I have a huge thing of it. I use the Lady Anti-Monkey Butt Anti-Friction Powder. Yes. This is what I use. So there you go. She thought she was going to get me on that one. Anyway, Shauna, Judy, I, I just love this so much. I'm just going to let it lay here because I just love it. Where do you find the anti-monkey butt powder? At the anti-monkey butt powder store. I don't know. <laughs> um. Actually, Eileen sent me that. One day I got a box and I opened it up and inside was monkey butt powder. But I've actually used that little monkey on the front of that um, in artwork. Um, what? Oh, okay. See you, bye. Bye. You went over yours with the pad you used when embossing and it worked. Okay. I don't have any of that, but... Um, is it like Gorilla Glue? I don't think so, Ian. <laughs> don't use Gorilla Glue in place of anti-monkey butt powder. He's already scrammed out of here, Eileen. He had his headphones on. So anyway, anyway, thank you, you guys. I love it. It's just so perfect. Love it, love it, love it. So then I went to Hobby Lobby. I told you that. Oh, no, I got one more happy mail. Um, oh, Painty Girl. Painty Girl, the other day I was whining that I didn't have the Peacock um, Finnabar Wax. So Painty Girl sent me this. So thank you, Painty Girl. The Peacock, I think it's been back ordered, but this is some awesome stuff. Naturally, it smells beautiful, but look at that color. Oh, say hi to Robert. Here, I'll have to poke him. Do what? You have to say hi to Eileen. Hi, Eileen. Good morning. <laughs> and the rest of the ladies. And the rest of the ladies. 
<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Seriously. <laughs> All right. Get out of here. Go eat. Bye. I love the waxes too. That's the last wax you need. Well, eat your heart out. I don't know where she got it. I don't know. She got it on, um, what is it, eBay? Yeah, I don't know if she got it on eBay or, um, don't know. But it's beautiful and I appreciate it. Thank you, Painty Girl. Morning, scissor hands. He's got his headphones on, so he can't hear crap. I have to poke him to talk to him. And then the last thing, believe it or not, I went to Hobby Lobby. They didn't have a lot of the sales stuff left. Um, you're an afterthought for Robert because <laughs> he's all about Eileen, you know. It's all about Eileen. There's a song about that. Somebody could sing it if they wanted to. Um, but they didn't have a whole lot of um, the sales stuff left. And none of the books were on sale. There was a book there that I wanted, but I made myself put it back. Um, Janice, these we got on Amazon. Um, if you want, I'll put a, a link on. Okay, there's Penny Girl. Hi. Um, she said she found it on eBay. We got them on Amazon, and I'll put a link up if you want later um, when I get off the stream. Or Eileen knows them well. She can put a link in chat for you. Um, I'll wrap myself a note. Link to the bags. They are really fun to make. I will say that. Because Colleen bought it all. <laughs> yeah, we can get you a link, Janice, so no worries there. But as I was walking around um, Hobby Lobby, I was walking along that back aisle because I wanted to get some more balsa wood because I'm going to make myself another um, wooden box. Um, and I walked by the postage um, stamp collectors. And they had all the genuine United States stamp, stamp sets for sale. Normally four bucks on sale for 98. So I bought how many? Because you guys know I love stamps, right? So here's two, four. I bought seven. Uh, seven. Yeah, this was for me, this was a score. It really was. And they had some of the tools, stamp handling tools and... Um, so, yeah, I bought all that they had in stock. And I haven't had a chance to sit down and put them in my book yet to see if I got anything amazing. Um, and if you've never bought these, they come in these little envelopes. And this was worldwide. So I don't really collect worldwide stamps. I collect mostly um, U.S., so it was, yeah, stamp heaven for little money because these ranged in price from five to um, four. And there was one that was more. So, yeah, bonus. So I felt really lucky there. You collect worldwide, Gail? Um, DM me your address. And if, there, if I have duplicates of the worldwide, I'll, I'll happily send them to you. Because, yeah, I don't do a lot of worldwide. Um, I just save ones. One that either have come on Happy Mail, I save those. Um, or I end up just using them in artwork. But if you actually save them, I would happily send you the extras. But I'm... I've gotten bad at mailing. Last week, I didn't go to the post office. So everything that I promised that would be mailed out will not have not has not gone out yet. So I don't know. My allergies had been really kicking my butt. I mean, seriously. And then Cooey gave me some of her medicine and that helped. But um, this weekend, I, I literally slept all weekend. Like, I can't even believe that I could sleep as much as I slept this weekend. But I'm feeling great today, so let's art. Because I think that was all I had to show you guys. Yeah, and that's all mail that's got to go out. Okay, so that's everything. So we're going to use... <clears throat> 
I got thinking after I told you tissue paper, Eileen, um, do you do um, Twitter, Gail? If you do it, on, if you Twitter, just send me a DM on Twitter. And if you don't Twitter, um, I would I would say, and uh, send me an email. Yeah, so do a DM on Twitter because I know I'll get it there. Hey, Judy, I just showed your awesome envelope and dangles and the little journal. Thank you, Judy. I, I do absolutely love this. I think it just, look at that. It looks so good on my journal. I just feel so lucky, so happy. So Judy's been holding out on us. Because who knew that Judy did cool stuff like that, right? Yeah, journal jewelry. There you go. That's a good name for it. So um, I told Eileen this morning that I was going to do it on tissue paper. And I still might. But then I got thinking for Smack and Dragon, um, tissue paper might be too absorbent. You know, because as soon as you put it down, it sucks up and then it's gone. So you don't get good smack and dragon results, right? Does that make sense? How are you going to get ink to stick to that plastic? I'm going to do it on, well, this is my think, my thoughts, my think. <laughs> this is my think. <laughs> Too much sleep isn't good for me. Um I thought do it on deli paper because it's not quite as absorbent and we might get um, the way I do it. It might work. Shut up, Eileen. She is such a pain in my butt. Anyway, I'm going to do it on deli paper and then I'm going to actually use matte medium to put it on the um, on the plastic. So um, throw out three colors or two colors and we'll try our smack and dragon. And so see to make fun of me. Because she hasn't made fun of me for a whole week. We've both been really quiet. Oh. I've got buffering. Oh, where is the thing? Let me see here. Are you guys buffering or is it just me on this other computer? Okay, must be just me. Okay, never mind. Um, it was, yeah. Yeah, it will stay on. Um, my buffering stopped. Um, I'm typing in chat. Okay. Yeah, hit live and, and you should come back. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try it on deli paper. I can always go get um, tissue paper if I want. But I'm thinking the um, deli paper is going to work better. So let's do... I'll just get out a bunch of different colors here. And hopefully these stoppers are going to work. Um, just pulling out a bunch of different colors. And I got, I don't mind um, using these FW inks like this because I got them on um, clearance at Hobby Lobby. What was it last spring? I don't know. Um, so anyway, we got a bunch of colors out here now. So my hands are going to be a mess. Oh my God. Here we go. Hey, where do, you, where do you get deli paper? I got mine at, um, Sam's club. I had to, um, buy two big boxes, but it was really, really cheap. 
Um, so I don't know. I'm trying to think where you could um, get deli paper easy. I imagine you can order it off Amazon too. If you had buffering and you had to hit live to come back, you might check your settings for um, high definition because mine had defaulted back to zero or 144. So anyway, I might need my spray bottle. Probably will. All right, let's do yellow and green first. Let's see what we're going to end up with. Okay, well, wait a minute. Before I go crazy. Hi, Lori. Hi, Karen. Okay, more. Because Karen Griffin here is, too, is here, too. Um, I'm trying to think what color I want the whole bag. Because I'm not sure I want it to be, like, confetti color. Could you use parchment paper? I suppose you could, yeah. I don't know why you couldn't. I'm hoping the deli paper kind of um, will disappear like Dee Dee's wings did this morning. Eileen's saying green. Um, and you know me, green, blue, purple are my faves. So, and some of these are pearlescent, some are not, and I'm not sure I want pearlescent. So, um, Looking at the colors. This is, I like the dark green. Let's do the dark green and the yellow to start. All right. And there's on deli paper, there's a wax side and then there's kind of an absorbent side. So I'm going to do it on the absorbent. Can I zoom out a bit? Yes. How's that? Is that better? <clears throat> All right. All right, good. This one's working. Eileen will tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to put the little bits of color of ink down first. You got to shake them because the pigment settles to the bottom. You have the inks? Yeah, give it a try. I think absorbent paper, like the deli paper, I think it's going to work a lot better than the tissue paper. I didn't get any tissue paper out because I thought, nope, that's way too absorbent. So the way Dee Dee does it, I'm going to add a little bit of water. All right, Eileen, get ready. Get ready to start laughing at me. Put it down. And I normally smack. Mm, I'm not sure if this is going to work good. That's not bad, huh? Did, Eileen, did you see that? I did good there. I did really good. Because I didn't, like, normally I put it down and then I smush it and then I drag. And that's what she thinks is so funny. All right, and then I'll get some paper towel just to clean up the excess because when I glue down, I like using paper towel to glue. I'll come back and read what Eileen's um, comments are because I'm sure they're going to make fun of me. It's the only reason she came today. All right, let's see what she said. Hi, Christine. The pattern that is on the table might be good for regular paper. Yeah, I might get out. Um, thanks, Josie. I'm waiting for Eileen to tell me. And I'll let these dry. And then if they need more color, I can always add more color. And I'm going to be a mess when I'm done. I can already tell this. 
All right. The problem with my plan is I didn't leave any place to <laughs> I didn't leave any place to dry this stuff. <clears throat> Houston, I've got a problem. All right, I put it up behind me, I guess. I've been thinking about it all morning, Eileen. Okay, how am I going to do this so that Eileen can't say bad stuff about me? Hi, Amy. Thanks for the muffin this morning, Amy. It was really good. Jamal looks like a dragon bad hair. <laughs> hey, Jan. <laughs> All right. Let's do a couple other colors. Because I'm feeling really encouraged by that. I actually like this one where it has all the different texture. I hope it kind of stays like that because it's cool looking. All right, we're doing another one. Let's use a different color green. Oh, that one had a paint burger in it. Try some Timmy tissue. Yeah, I could do that. If art is not messy, what's the point? Anna, hi. And... Don't hang out with Eileen. She is the person that your mother warned you about. You can't hang out with that person. They're a bad example. Oh, I'm not sure if this one's going to be pretty, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Some blue, too. These colors might be really gross together. We're going to find out. I'm using green so Eileen might like me better. That's not bad, huh? Oh, I'm getting better at this, Eileen. Um, on the screen, it looks like it's um, lime green, but it's not. She is against mess, and she needs help. <laughs> They're actually looking not bad, right? And then I can let them drip, too, which I like. I like drippage. Jean does not like drippage, but I do. All right, these are going to look pretty together. Yeah, it's Eileen that um, does the messy. I know, Dee Dee, I'm smacking and dragging. Hi, Joycey. I might add some other color. I'll add some blue in here. The one color I didn't get out of these inks was a dark blue. I wish I had gotten a dark blue. I may be sorry that I'm doing this, but we'll find out. It's just paper. I can throw it away. The mini condoms are in the mini condom drawer. In the dwarf's bedroom. <laughs> Look at that. Now, this is not, I'm going to get out some different paper because this is not really acting like Smack and Dragon, but I am actually liking what it's doing. The paper is actually resisting the ink. I'm going to grab out some. Um, just regular. Well, I don't really want to use that. I guess I'll go get tissue paper. I don't think it's going to work well, but we'll try it.
All right, here's white tissue. I think it's just going to absorb the ink and it's not going to allow for any dragon. But we'll see. And I tried to cut the paper down to more manageable sizes because, yeah. I always laugh at myself, Joyce. I, I actually think I'm a really funny person. <laughs> yeah, I should have left room. All right, this is what's going to happen with tissue paper. When I put it down and drag it, yeah, it might work. But that's not how you're supposed to do um, smack and dragon. Eileen will tell you. Look at her. She's doing it again. <laughs> but actually, this will make some, some fun collage junk. Where am I going to put this? Okay, you guys, I've got to make room for where to lie. I don't know what I was thinking when I didn't do that. See, Amy thinks I'm entertaining. There. I've got to use colors, though, that will work together on the bag. So I don't mind yellow, blues, greens. Um, I make you laugh. I know. All right. We're going to try another um, tissue paper one. I like the deli paper ones better, though. Don't encourage her, Amy. <laughs> I do OCD smack and dragon. That's what it probably is, Joycey. OCD smack and dragon. I know it makes me a little bit nervous. And that's why you'll see me wiping the table and cleaning up a lot. It it makes me a little bit nervous. Okay. More tissue paper. Here, I'll do a bigger sheet this time because I have a bigger area. All right. Smack. Oh, this is going to tear. And dragon. Is that good? Do you like that? Add more water? Okay. Look at. Oh, God. This is a mess. I'm not sure about this. Where's the. Yeah. I like the deli because you can kind of see what it's doing through the paper. Yeah, I li I'm liking this. Why don't I wear gloves? It's not even so much. I mean, that bothers me a little bit. Um, not giving, not loving the tissue as much as it. See, me too, CB. I swear you do this like you were changing a baby's diaper. <laughs> you might have to lay him on the driveway. Yeah, Robert's out there weed eating and blow blowing the driveway. So that's not a good option. All right, clean this up. Probably the best thing when I'm done here will be the paper towel. All right. Should I try some purple or that? Here, we're going to do some that has the pearlescent. Yeah, I could blow it dry. This is one of the um, droppers that I think don't like to work. You have to be careful with these FW lids, too, because you can crack them and break them really easy.
Now this one has pearlescent in it. I know what I'm going to try. Um, I think I have some dark blue in Liquitex. I do. Okay. I'm going to do this with the dark blue. We're going to see which is prettiest before we proceed. Oh, check. Messy stream. Kimberly, you were the one encouraging her. This one could be really pretty because it's got the pearlescent. And that's going to... I think show up maybe better. I don't know. We'll see. Hi, Terry. All right, ready? That is looking really pretty in there. Now I have to drag it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I like this better. We're going with different colors. <laughs> the yellow and green are pretty, but this, the blue with the pearlescent is really pretty. Really, really. All right. Change in plan. Look at that. Oh. Yummy. Turn it in a circle next time. All right. I'll let it absorb up some of the water. Like this. This is not exactly smack and dragon. Eileen's going to yell at me. Yuck, shimmer. <laughs> There's just some people you can't make happy. I don't care what you do. They're just never happy. This is when she gets to hitting <laughs> when I do stuff like this. What are you doing? I'm just cleaning up some of the ink, girl. It's starting to look pretty. The napkin is. See, that's looking better. All right, we're going to do another one of those. In fact, I'll go right over that one or clean up with that one. Where's the shimmery one again? Trying to make fractals. Yeah, there you go. I will, I'll spin this one as best I can. <sighs> I like these colors better together, though. I think it's interesting now. You can't tell that I spun it. But look at that. Ah, that's so pretty on there. I kind of like where it's repelling. That's kind of cool. I've got it everywhere. This is just going to be solid color but I'll probably end up using it all. I'm going to have to add more. I don't know if the shimmer, I don't know. But see how that just repelled? It just, oh, maybe I used the wrong side. Nope, I didn't. That's just weird. All right, here we go.
Yeah, I think I'm going with the blue. Sorry, Eileen. That blue is just too, too pretty. I might add some purple in because I've got some shimmer purple to the pearlescent purple. So it's going to be turquoise blue and purple, it looks like to me. And that bag is big, so I'm probably going to have to make a lot of this. I might have to cut more paper. Why do the red hearts turn black? What red hearts? Oh, are you talking about in chat? It could be what device you're on, um, CB. I noticed that at some people stream too. Um, oh, I will, Elaine. Um, I've noticed in some people's chat that like the the icons, rather than being, you know, the big yellow faces that we're used to, they come out teeny tiny. You almost can't tell what they are. Okay, right side. Okay. Smack, same device, start out red, then turn to black. I don't know. I don't know if it's um, like just a little while ago. Oops, I didn't drag that one very good. Um, that's what I mean. I'm challenged. Um, like just a little while ago when some of us were buffering and some of us weren't, I think it could depend on maybe the server, the YouTube server that you're on. See if other people in chat are having the same issue. Is this working for you, Eileen? You're doing it again. That was not a proper smack and drag. But I know what I forgot to do, Eileen. I forgot to add water. Sorry, dudes. They should ban emojis. You're on a PC, weird. Google is screwing with us. See, I don't know. I think it might have to do with the server that you're on. But I I don't know enough that I can say that with any certainty. You know what I mean? Really bean? But like the other night, some of us at Colleen's were buffering and others weren't. And Colleen is now thinking that it's her. And her problem might be. Um, partly her, but I really think YouTube is doing some things. Some people said if you were in live chat, hearts were black and red in top chat. That could be. That I, yeah, I'm not sure. Because I forgot to switch this over to live chat. So um, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's the difference between live chat and top chat. There you go. Janice figured it out for us. Smack and Dragon. That one came out cool. Okay, I'm going to need a lot of this. Because when I go to... Um, oh, crap. Don't want it on the computer. Too late. Um, <laughs> when I go to put this on the bag, I'll, um, I'll have to tear this up. Right. Yeah, the shimmery. This is definitely going to be a shimmery bag. But I can go back and add splats too. You know what I mean? I'm going to do that one again. So if you want red hearts, go back to top chat, I guess. I might add some of this um, dark green in here. We'll introduce a little bit of dark green in it.
Okay, this will be a street walker's bag with all the shimmer. My first bag started an area in the center. We're pulling off by zipper. That doesn't work. Hmm. 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 Nope. Still black. I don't know. And Debbie, I, that did. My first bag started an area in the center. We're pulling off by zipper. I fill it too full. I'm not following Debbie. Sorry. And um, hi, by the way. And we were wondering if um, you're going to stream in Jean spot today. Jean apparently is not streaming. She's going to um, continue knitting. I didn't get enough of the dark green, so I'm going to add some back. It's going to be a street walker's bag. <laughs> who's been naughty and who's been nice? Mine would always be black. Oh, it's coming unglued. Uh-oh. Well, that's bad news. Okay. Debbie said she can stream after me, so that's cool. Coolio. And I don't know how long I'll be on. It'll just depend on when I get all this dry and glued on to the bag. Well, that's a bummer that your bag kind of came undone or it started on gluing. I hope that's not true because I've sent some of these out as gifts. So what you're saying is I could have easily sent out garbage for gifts. That's a bummer. Hey, what? Which, which golf cart do you want to keep or do you, do you have any preference? Really, I don't. So whichever one you can make the most money on. Okay. I think we may be selling a golf cart. Is that? All right. Lane and Robert are out in my carport messing with golf carts. So maybe I'm going to make some money. Don't overstuff it. That's probably a good idea. <clears throat> I, ha I have made mine, but I haven't actually used it. So <laughs> I don't have any real input there. All right, I'm going to do some tissue paper again. Oops, stuck to the table. On these, I actually do like the shimmer. And Eileen, you're so weird because um, the Finnabar wax is shimmery and you love it. What the heck is that about? I'm going to have to dry some of this. I mean, like get out the dryer and dry it so I can start stacking it because I am like out of room here. Pretty. They're glossy, not shivery. Selective shimmering. There you go, Judy. I think we've caught on to her nonsense. It's selective shimmery. All right, I'm going to blow this stuff. I'm going to heat set this stuff. All right, how naughty of him to go. Okay. Bear with me. Shouldn't take but a minute. go back to work next Thursday, Debbie? What the heck happened to the summer? It was just yesterday you were going to get off. I can't believe that. 
that just doesn't seem right. I actually like it on the deli paper where it's, can you see how much texture it's created all by its own self? I think that's going to look really, really good. Yes, and then the kids come August 15th. Oh, my gosh. School starts the first week of August. I think it starts here, too. But you know what? My Walmart doesn't have school supplies out yet. And here we are. Well, I haven't been to mine, but I went, I was in one the other day. And they didn't have the school supplies out yet. I was like, what the hell are you waiting for? Some of us have to buy this stuff. Oh, Amy's saying yes, they do. Okay. Did you buy anything, Amy? Because last time I was in um, our Walmart, they still had the, um, like the summer stuff out. It does. It, they're looking really cool. You'll see how they go down when I start tearing them up. Yeah, me too, Eileen. Eileen. We didn't go back until um, September. Anytime after the 1st of September. Like this one is really pretty. I do like that a lot. So I'm going to have some... Cool stuff to work with here, I think, you guys. Anything that puddles is going to turn into a drip. I bought stuff, but no school supplies. You got a new coloring book. Good girl. And Amy just got her polychromos. I'm going to have this crap everywhere. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that in there or not. I'm liking my most recent color scheme the best. See what else? I don't know. I guess I can use some of that if I need to. All right. We're going to make a couple more. So I want to make sure that I have plenty of stuff when I start gluing. Add some dollars. This bag really will be a hussy bag. Add some dollar signs to it. Your pit, okay, your prismas keep breaking. Well, damn. That's just not right. The polys do have a harder lead. That's for certain. All right. A hussy bag. Well, when then I finish it, Eileen, I probably will want to send it to you. We're adding three colors this time. We're getting brave. That's pretty, Eileen. I don't care what you say. It's really pretty. And I want to mix, I want to pick that up just like it is right there. I don't even want to smack and drag it. I'm just going to see if the tissue paper will just sop it up just like it is because it's so pretty. 
And I might end up using both tissue paper and deli paper. Look at how pretty that is. Ugh, it's lickable. A hussy bag. <laughs> how would I wouldn't even know a hussy bag? All right. I love these colors too. I'm I'm tickled with these colors. These are perfect. See how smack and dragon challenged I am? I have to set that one. I'll have to add more to it. OMG. I think she thinks it's a hooker. I'll show you in just a second, Terry. Eileen found them, and naturally, we all had to buy them. You know that. Um, but they're plastic bags. I'll show it in just a second. Sound like Homer Simpson. Duh. What did I do with it? Here it is. Oh, I'm drying stuff on it. They should be drying up now. Okay, they're these plastic bags. You can order them off Amazon. And actually, some of that ink dried on there. So you you might be able to go direct to this with the um, acrylic inks. Um, but here would be an example of one that's, um, that I finished decorating, Terry, or this one, which I love because it's mine. It's brown, as you can see. So, yeah. Okay. Debbie said she did two with alcohol ink direct on it. I think you could also do it with, um, direct to the bag with the acrylic ink too. You love the one I gave you. I don't even remember which one I gave you, Amy. I really don't. Thanks, Terry. Okay. So, and right now I'm just making the paper to, um, to glue onto it. And the reason I'm doing this is because Eileen wanted to make fun of me because I can't do smack and dragon that good. But I can draw. I can't snack and draw though. But, oh, I didn't show the picture of the one that I made for Cooey's girl. Um, I'll get my phone here in a minute. Um, those bags, like you get, um, 12 bags for like 12 bucks or something. Um, oh, that sounds cool, Terry. Ziploc bags and duct tape. That's a good idea. But yeah, these are, they're really inexpensive. They, did they work out to even a buck a piece? Eileen, did you, um... Look at now that it's dry, it's not picking up any ink at all. That is weird. That's just weird. Yeah, you can get some awesome duct tape. In fact, Amy and I have been talking about doing a project of um, decorating a journal <clears throat> with duct tape. A dollar each, twelve for twelve ninety nine. Okay, that's about what I thought. About a buck each. 
So, and they provide hours and hours of enjoyment. So, you can't goof up with that. All right. Make some more. Maybe, I was going to say, maybe this one I won't use shimmer on, but it's too late. Next one I won't use shimmer on. Oops. Yeah, the mermaid scales. Yeah, and I have the, it's all sitting right here, Amy. We just need to figure out a time and decide if we want to stream it and invite these goofballs over so they can make fun of us. Because now I don't have any company on the horizon, which it seemed like early in the summer, it just felt like I was going to have people here off and on all summer, which I really kind of have. But now it's just like, there's no people coming. I don't have to clean the house anymore. <laughs> That's really how I feel. Oh, I'm not going to clean for like ever. All right. There's a swirly one. E. Yeah, it's just like it's not absorbing. Oh, I don't want to get that on the table, actually. Oh, Amy and I'll stream again. All right. That one just like, I don't know why some of the deli paper just won't absorb. I, it's just so weird. That is not Smack and Dragon. Eileen will tell you. <laughs> Maybe I should just I don't want regular paper though That's the whole deal Hmm <laughs> Let me pull one of the old ones That has kind of dried Okay, you can go back and add after it's dried. So that's kind of good. Yeah, these are going to work well, I think. Try some. Oh, Timmy Tissue, you're right. I forgot that, Eileen. I said I would do that. I'll do it right now. It should work. Only it's kind of got the same properties as deli paper. Or at least it behaves kind of the same way. All right, Timmy Tissue coming up. I can't believe I actually did use one entire roll of Timmy Tissue. I threw away the box the other day. You know what? I'm going to try some of this. Um, I'm not going to use this in this project, but I am, I'll try it. Um, come on. There we go. Timmy tissue is not necessarily all that absorbent either. I'm tearing it so it's manageable pieces. You like his tissue paper? Yeah. 
and um, this collage paper. I got it. Now it's quite a bit thinner. Um, and I meant to get the other one out, not this one. Guess it doesn't matter really. It's all about the same. But a tube of those was really tempting the other day at Hobby Lobby, too. Ugh. But I'm being very disciplined. I've been telling myself no a lot until I use some of what I already have. Well, one thing is for certain, Eileen, is that when I'm done, I am going to match my hussy bag. I'm going to use just those two. I'm going to leave the blue out this time. I tell myself no to, then I just laugh and buy it. <laughs> All right. Smack and dragon. Okay, that's pretty. It's all hussy looking, Eileen. But the crazy thing is, like, it, it's almost like the deli paper in that it's resisting. It doesn't suck up the color right away. Um, I'll set it aside and see if we can get it to dry. Guess who's at my window, Amy? Smiling real big. I don't know what he's doing down here. See, that isn't showing up at all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Pelican. <laughs> You've been really good except for the polys and the coloring book. Um, well, I was good until Amazon days. And then I did go ahead and order um, an Instant Pot. All you ladies have been bragging about your Instant Pot. So I thought, okay. That's it. Amy loves hers. She's like, oh, you got to get one. So I was like, okay. So I ordered one. And Amy, it's your fault that it's not out of the box yet. I was going to use it last night. But then your husband bought, brought us brisket and I didn't open it. So my Instant Pot is still in its box. Yeah, it's still in its box. But don't worry, because it's safe in its box. <laughs> My poor hands. I know. Look at them. Dirty, dirty girl. I look like a lizard. That They're lizard-colored hands. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't opened it yet. But that's the only thing I bought on Amazon um, Prime Days or whatever they call it. But I did go ahead and replace um, the porcelain dishes that um, I gave to Cooey. And then Dee Dee, again, damn enabler that she is. Um, I did go ahead and order that coloring, Color Effects 3 book that she worked out of the other day. Yeah, I went ahead and ordered that. And for whatever reason, it didn't come. Now, that one's pretty. I like that one. Maybe what I need to do is just get it wet. All right. That's good. That looks really good. I like that. I'm going to have this crap everywhere. You have the Ninja Foodie Instapot. I don't know what kind mine is. It's whatever it was. Um... On sale is what I bought. So we'll see. Um, 
I might actually use it tonight. Depends on how I feel after streaming if I want to do that. And it seems like a lot of hassle to me, but. Maybe it's just the different inks are working different because that blue is sticking to it good, but the green did not. So that's just weird. That's just weird. Oh, no, I have chicken. Thank you, Amy. I have chicken out there. I don't have it thawed yet, but it only takes a minute in the microwave. I've actually been craving, and this is weird because normally I don't crave um, fast food, but I have been craving a chicken sandwich from Arby's. That's ridiculous. All right, this one's getting better. I've got to remember what I'm making this for. Is it, am I going to use this paper on the bag or not? You can cook it from frozen in your Instant Pot. Oh, the Instant Pot so work way fast. Don't microwave it. Okay, cool. That's good because I'm I'm kind of bad about getting stuff out of the freezer the day before. I used to be really good at planning and everything. I don't know what where my planning crap went because I don't do it anymore. Well, I guess I will be mixing up the Timmy tissue with this other. Why not? Where I've just been cleaning up the mess. Yeah, tissue paper would not have worked for Smack and Dragon. I don't think. All right. I need to dry some more. I'm getting too much wet junk around. And it's getting everywhere. Everywhere. Heat gun. There has to be one cup of fluid. Well, I can manage one cup of fluid. Do you have... Okay, Amy just answered. I haven't read the instructions yet. Okay, this piece I definitely want more green on. Yeah, it's like a pressure cooker. Exactly. I gave away my pressure cooker, oh my gosh, probably 30 years ago, really. Um, and I never thought I'd get another one. I just thought they were dangerous more than anything because um, you're cooking under such high pressure and so hot that I just felt like, oh, that's dangerous. Oh, this one's coming out really good. Maybe this is what I should have been doing. Yeah, that one's came, came out really good. I guess I will be using the Timmy tissue. All right, let me see how much paper I've got. It could be that I've got enough now that I could start tearing it up and smashing it on. I think, I think. If not, I can put it aside and add some more.
because this paper will just be the base. I'll add more stuff on top of the paper after I get it glued onto the bag. Don't know what yet. We'll figure that out as we go. But it does have to be dry before I can start gluing. The old one could be, I had one explode on me. I'd heard about that, Connie. That's why I um, I was afraid of him. I have my, where should I start the rest of the night? Dinner in 45 minutes with little effort. 45 minutes? I was thinking more on the order of 15, 20. When it dries, the um, shimmer is not so obnoxious, Eileen, FYI. I think the thing that sold me on it um, was that your meat comes out so tender. Um, yeah, that's, I think, what finally sold me, is that the meat just comes out so tender. We'll find out. Okay, checking on my paper here to see. See, this one didn't take any of the ink at all. That's just weird. I'm going to set that aside and let it dry by its own self because... Some of these I just piled up, so they might have stuck to each other. <laughs> uh. Packing myself up. And I hope when I glue these down, I might even wrinkle them up on purpose because I was thinking when I glue these down, I hope they're really wrinkly. I like wrinklage. Hi, Mary. Doing smack and dragon, Mary. Welcome from Indonesia. All right, and these are the first ones we did, and I'm obviously not going to use them on this project, the yellow and the green that I originally did because I changed my color scheme. So they'll get used for something else at a later date, or I'll mail them to somebody in Happy Mail or something. Let's see what else I got going on here. That goes with that. I have this stuff everywhere. I'm not kidding. This is dry. This has a... When I did the purple, I don't know if I'll use that or not. This one's okay. That one's okay.
All right. There. You think that's enough paper? The green ones are the best. Well, this has green in it. It's just a mint green. It's just not a booger green. You like booger green. I'm going to use the ones with purple on it. Why not? Just a little bit of purple here and there won't hurt nothing. I don't know if I have enough or not. What happened to the... Okay, I'm going to do a couple more of the Timmy papers because I am going to go ahead and use that. So um, I'll do a couple more of those. And then I'll glue for an hour. I'm going to add just a little bit of the blue because the dark blue seems to take over. Please use purple. All right, I'll do the next Timmy one with purple and then a maybe a couple more because I'm going to add the purple in. I'm just going to go ahead and use it since I've got it. That's pretty. Now that is green, Eileen. I don't care what you say. That is green. It's really green. My hands are painty. Yeah, they are. They're a mess. Hopefully they'll come clean. I'm hoping that that magic Kathy Berg soap <laughs> really works well. Because, yeah. I'm going to need it. And I think I just got it on my arm. If I got it on my shirt, I'm going to be mad. Because I actually do like this shirt. But it might be too late already. Oh, well. All my shirts are painty shirts. I ain't going to do that, Judy. Oh, that one's pretty. All right. That's good. <clears throat> Now I'm just going to clean it up with tissue paper. Maybe I should get out a little bit more Timmy tissue. Because I'm going to have to tear it up. Well, I have, I mean, right now, I almost just said, you guys are going to have to excuse me while I go wash my hands, because I'm at the point right now where my hands are really, really bothering me, but I'm going to make myself stick it out, because the next thing I'm going to do is use matte medium. Well, how that's going to make them just as bad as they are right now. Oh, that's a good question, Allie. When the um, FIB meetup is, that I don't know. I thought it should be coming up. Um, CB on the, oh, it starts the 31st. Okay, there you go. Hey, Fiona. Congrats to Hope. She's got to be the most adorable kid for real. All right, now what I'm going to wonder is, I guess I'll just use the matte medium clear. And because um, I'm going to say I could tint it to give the whole thing kind of an overall color, but I think I'm not going to. I think I'm going to just let whatever happens happen. And I'll add some color as I go, I think, I think, I think. 
just using golden matte medium in a smoosh bottle. I'll bet it was, Fiona. I bet that was a happy day because it's something she worked so hard at. For you guys that don't know, Fiona um, lives on the Isle of Man, and she has a granddaughter named Hope. And Hope is, how old is Hope, Fiona? I'm going to guess about 12, 12, 13. No, she's not 13 yet. She's young. And she's a really, really talented little artist. And she's um, streamed with, <clears throat> my computer's going crazy. She has streamed with Fiona so we could watch her draw. Um, she's a just a good, she was 11, okay. Um, <clears throat> she just won an art award at her school. So before I start that, I'm going to rip some of this up. Just 11 in May, but she is absolutely the most adorable little thing. And really, really, really talented. I'm not going to um, tear this in small pieces. Where It's going to go on big. She is so talented. Just absolutely adorable. So I was happy to see her win her award at her school. In fact, this tissue paper I'm going to put on whole. Just the way it is. Some of them I'm going to put on hold, and then I can just start working on top of them. Probably the most expedient. And if it gets wrinkles in it, I'm good with that. I like wrinklage, so I don't care if it gets wrinkled, just as long as it's glued down. And this ink is still a little wet, so my matte medium is turning a little green, and that's fine, too. Oops. Didn't need that much matte medium, but don't worry. As we glue, we'll use it. I'm not sure what the shimmery will do um, with the matte medium on top. I'm not sure if it will keep it shimmer. Can't read chat right now. Got wet glue going on. One thing I will say for certain, the small bags are a lot easier <laughs> to manage. One thing, though, I, I do want it all glued down. Like, I, I don't want air pockets under there, and I can see that there are some under there. Now I'm going to start adding a little bit of blue.
now let's see if this is what I'm hoping that you could be able to see through the deli paper. You know, it's transparent enough that you can kind of see what's going on underneath. And in there, I kind of can. So I like that. And I am picking up a little bit of color from somewhere, so it's not entirely clear. Pushing air bubbles out. Not reading chat, you guys. Oops. I'm going to end up having to probably make some more of the Timmy paper because I like the, um, the random blackness in here. It is pretty though. It I can't tell if you guys can see it, but it is looking pretty. Would your brayer gently roll bubbles out? Yeah, I'm not getting glue on my brayer. It might. I mean, it might very well, but yeah, I'd just soon not have to clean glue off my brayer. Because you know me, I have to clean it. I have to clean everything. And I'm moving around so that elements of one get spread out throughout other parts of it. So that's why I'm moving from here to there. I'm liking this, though. I have to say it, it, the randomness of it is very appealing to me. Trying to keep you guys on camera too. But the bag is big. Bigger than I'm used to for sure. Okay. Has anybody done this? I, I was just sitting here thinking while I was doing this. Um, after I get the matte medium on here, what if I just put ink down on the table and did a great big huge smack and dragon with 
the entire bag. That would be scary, wouldn't it? The Timmy paper looks the best. Yeah, I like the Timmy paper too. I do, I do. I have more of it, so. And I'm going to add, I think, some of that darker here in a minute. Of course, it looks darker because it's not dry yet. Here's some of that darker blue. We'll add some of it. If I don't like it, I'll take it up almost immediately. Okay, I'm okay with that. Stencils, yeah, I've thought about that and which color I'll use. Depends on how how dark or how light the whole bag is, I think, when I'm done. We'll just see. Because I can add some stampage, stencilage. Don't bees matter and so I've almost got one entire coat on the whole thing. I'm going to add some green up here. But I like that you can see through it. I don't know if you guys can see that through the camera too much. But as I'm looking at it, I can definitely see what's going on underneath the pieces I'm adding. And that was kind of what I wanted. Would the matte medium keep it from absorbing? Um, that's kind of what I was wondering, Connie. But see right now, while it's still kind of damp, um, Just do it before it dries completely. And it, it does dry quickly. Like you have when you're working with matte medium, you have to kind of move quick because it dries pretty fast. quiet in here all of a sudden. And on this one, I really like that drippage. So I may end up adding drippage to the entire bag. because I am a fan of drippage.
you could use acrylic paint watered down a bit. Yeah. Yeah, there's a number of ways it could be accomplished for sure. Don't want to cover up all the drippage. No, leave the straight edge. What do I care? Okay, just a little bit more up here, and then I'm going to flip it over. I can always come back and add more later, you know, but I don't mind that there are some places. I mean, it's covered, but it looks like it's almost clear, like you'll be, be able to see the contents of whatever's inside. I'm cool with that. Watch out, this will end up being my favorite bag and I won't want to give it away. I just don't have enough junk to put in a bag. Or I just don't keep stuff in bags, I guess. I'm liking it. Can you guys see? In here it looks a little... lacking so i'll add some of this get more junk get more junk no et pop out the bottom i'm not getting more junk you've seen my house amy do you honestly think i need more junk omg the one thing i don't need in this world is more junk This is the junk capital of Monkey Island already. I'm liking it right now as a background. I'm liking it a lot. <clears throat> to put in my bag. What? But see, maybe you don't know this about me, but as soon as something goes into a bag or goes out of sight, like, the story of my life is out of sight, out of mind. I'm not kidding you. Now, if I was going on a trip or something, I might put something in a bag. But for just here around the house, nope, out of sight, out of mind. Done. I think this side is pretty well covered, and I'm really liking it. I'm liking the colors. I'm glad there's a little purple here and there. I hope I have some of that purple left. If I don't, oh well. I'm gonna, hey Eileen, I'm gonna blow it dry real quick. I'm gonna dry it real quick and then I'm gonna flip it over. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. I wanted one until Debbie said Marabou's would fit. Thanks, Kim. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I think what you're talking about is that mirror, the alcohol ink holder that somebody showed on Twitter. I was like, get out of my face. No, oh, I've got some air bubbles up here. I need to probably smush out. It might be too late though. I hope not. Nope, just turn to wrinkles. Good job. Okay. I'll watch for more. <laughs> Looks like a Monet background. You know, when you do something like this, you almost can't goof up, you guys. You really can't. It's it's amazing how, if you keep a reasonable color scheme going, um, somehow it all just melds and mushes together. <laughs> a 
then Eileen, believe it or not, the the shimmer with the matte medium is like down here. I can see it a little bit, but actually it just turned into like a really nice mint green. And it's really going to look pretty with the Finnevar wax. I haven't decided if I'm going to use the dark blue Finnevar or the mint green. The options are endless, and it's really mind-boggling. The peacock would be awesome, too. The peacock may be what I end up using. Drying pretty quick. It's really pretty. I like it. Yeah, the peacock, I kind of agree, Amy. I think the peacock is going to look really, really good on it. All right. Now, these these big ones do have like a little bit of a gusset on there. I don't, um, I don't cover those. I just go ahead and glue it shut. <laughs> it's just so much easier. And it's not big enough to really work in, so... Um, what now? I will tweet what you have to pop out on each hole. Amazon, here I come. Oh my gosh. I just wish my book would come. I was bummed out when it didn't come with my Instapot the other day. Like, why, Amazon? Why? I should have left a little bit more to fold over, but I'm going to fold over from this side to the back anyway, so it'll get a duplicate. But, yeah, it's easier if you leave ample amount to, to glue down. There I go, matte medium on my hands. And all I'm doing right now is the edges, you guys. Folding up what I left as excess. Matte medium is the best junk ever. I'll be back on camera here in just a second. This bag is just so big. Just like I did that last one, I think I'm going to take some of these larger tissue papers and just glue them down. 
just give myself kind of a base to start with. Thanks for streaming. Gotta go for now. Keeps making and dragging. Bye, Jan. Have a great day. Catch you somewhere around the interwebs. Okay, I'm almost out of the tissue paper, so I'll just put this piece over here just to get it down. Mm, nope. Might have to refill my bottle here soon, but no worries. I think I have a great big giant brand new one. I think that's one thing I would never let myself run out of. Like Dee Dee. Like I would never run out of golden matte medium. Pretty sure that would be a crime. All right, here we go. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna try and leave ample around the edges. So um, I can fold it over and it won't create problems coming unglued with use with any luck. No promises. Timmy down. if I want that there. 
right in the middle. I normally don't put something like that right in the middle, but we're going right in the middle. You hate Mondays? Oh my gosh, I love Mondays. No, actually, I love Sundays. I was telling Robert last night, I really don't want to cover that up either. All right, I guess it's going down here. Um, Sunday afternoon, watching all the city people leave is absolutely the best time of my whole week. It's like, you know they're out there packing up, getting ready to go. It's just like, AMF, <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm bad that way. But really, it's it's literally the best time of my week. You and Dee are my only bright spot. Well, on one hand, I'm really glad, but really, I hate to be anybody's bright spot. Being as evil as I am, that's bad news, man. I really like these speckly ones that I said where it wasn't picking up. I may have to do this with just speckly. Those speckly ones are awesome looking. Like way awesome. I'm so glad I feel better today. Saturday, honestly, I could not keep my eyes open. Where do we want some Timmy tissue? Over here, I think. This side is definitely missing the purple. Just that little bit of purple was really nice so I need to get find some of that don't want to cover up the Timmy butterfly wings so Did Z come in? Hi, Z. I, I slept through your stream yesterday. I was so upset when I woke up and saw that you had Jane on and I missed the whole thing. But I will definitely probably this evening be catching up with you and Jane because I'll bet that was a ton of fun for everybody, especially you. I missed a lot this weekend sleeping. That was the second time Jane has showed up that I know anyway. Yeah, I know. I was there the first time um, Jane showed up at a Z show. Um, wasn't that like during her first product release or something? It seems to me like there was... 
she was releasing new products or something. I don't remember now. But yeah, I remember the first time Jane showed up. And I didn't know if yesterday was just a spontaneous show up or if it was planned. I'd, I was I felt so out of the loop, man. But I was excited for Z when I saw it because I thought, oh, that's so awesome. Oh, Z's. Hi, Sherry Ann. Um, Z says it's happened three times. Well, all right. This is some Timmy. I Where do I want the other Timmy? No, I don't know. But I want this dark blue somewhere. So I think I'm going to put it this way. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, I will definitely be watching the recording. And then I saw something about turtle stencils, which implies that I need to get over to the store. Okay, looking at this in, this in here needs some. I don't want to use that. Add some of this dark down here. I know that's just a white piece, but I like it. Come on. Hopefully it'll blend into the background. Okay, just looking. I'm okay with it, I think. And I know I've missed a ton of people coming in. If I missed you, I'm so sorry. I do appreciate you being here more than you know. All right. Now, on this side, I don't have any of the purple. So I think I'm... Oh, I need to fill in right there. I'm going to... I think just add some little bit of purple ink direct with the paintbrush. Because I like the purple on the other side and I want this side to have a little bit. So I'm just going to add it. That's probably cheating, but cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. All right. I don't know if you guys can hear. Robert's out there driving around heavy equipment. I don't know what he's doing. But I think he's leaving. So hopefully we won't be putting up with that. But see, I don't even know if you guys can hear it.
now I'm just going to use up the rest of the paper because I'll feel bad if I throw it away. <laughs> so I'll just use up the rest of it. Add some glue in here, there, here and there. All right, just that little bit of purple help. You can't hear it? Okay, good. All right, I need a piece of something up there. Oops. <laughs> When I shook that, it just went everywhere. OMG. I'll just cut it off. Yeah, I have to clean that up. Hang on, let me get it real quick while it's still wet. If I wait till it's dry, it's impossible. So, yeah. All right, you guys see anywhere where I'm missing? Looking awesomely good. Now I'm going to put some of this speckly stuff on top of, I'm thinking that dark right there. I don't know what it's going to do though. Looks good. Bottom corner. Oh, down here. Yeah, I. there actually is something there. But yeah, I agree with you. That needs... Look at what my options are. I actually made just about the right amount of paper, you guys. I don't have a huge amount left over. Um, probably I could go in and make some corrections and add some, some stuff here and there, but really I came up with just about the right amount of paper, which is way cool. Actually, I need to move that. That little piece there is going to create a problem, so we don't want that. 
don't want that. Bye, Janice. Hi, Holly. All right. I'm not seeing anything here. I'm going to dry it real quick and then decide if I'm going to throw some splatters at it, what I'm going to do next. Drink some coffee. Pull some of these couple of air bubbles that I'm seeing out. Darn it. Brush, hurry. Just saw a space that I didn't have anything, so fix that right up. Oops, that one needs some glue. Okay, just another minute, I think. All right, it's dry enough. I'll flip it over and um, work on the other side while this side is finishing up. Let's lay down these edges for sure. Yeah, it's damp but not wet. Got two men coming tomorrow. Well, Dorothy, you think you can take two on at once, do you? I usually only invite them one at a time. But 
but that's good because we'll talk about you. We will all be envious. Probably these edges that you fold over are probably the most important. You don't want them coming up for sure. Bring them on. That's what I'm talking about. Bring them on. All right. Not can't decide. I'm sitting here thinking, do I want to do splatterage or drippage? Now he put the heavy equipment away and he's out on his four wheeler. <laughs> it's rough being Robert Vaughn deciding which of your rolling stock you're going to be driving. He's got it all. Just a great big old toy box out there. Oh, they're tree surgeons. Okay. What will be your focal point on this? I'm not sure yet, Eileen. I'm thinking um, I may go look through some of the um, napkins. But on one of the girls that I did for one of the girls, I used um, these butterfly. I think they would stick out really well. And I already have them fussy cut if I add some dark blue to it. So I'm thinking I might. Next will be the tractor, the front end loader. Yeah, he's already had the tra tractor out. 
butterflies in circles. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But I'm thinking because it is so big. I mean, there's a lot going on, which is good because this is big. Um, but I'm thinking I like those navy blue butterflies. Um, yeah, napkins, Jamie. Hi, by the way. Um, I'm thinking just do some dark blue splatters, you know, to tie it kind of all together with the dark blue butterflies and then use the Finnabar wax. Are those Timmy wings? No, they're not. These are on, um, we're out of a, um, napkin that I used on one of Cooey's girls' bags. I'll go sh get it and show it to you. I did hers really a dark blue, and it was pretty. It was really pretty. Let me grab my phone so I can show you real quick. I love touching my phone when I've got hands that look like this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Um, but I'm thinking about adding some dark blue in and then doing the butterflies. Do silver blood butterfly with wax on them. Silver butterflies. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Here's some. Um, if you can see that. That was the bag that I did for one of Cooey's girls. It's hard for you guys to see. But I used um, gold. I did gold detail on the um, butterfly wings and then gold circles. It's a hussy bag, remember? <laughs> it is a hussy bag. Actually, Eileen, you would be so amazed because that green shimmer... Other than a few little places, the shimmer almost went all away. And I'm left with this really, really pretty mint green. And I'll have Amy come down and look at it and she can tell you. So, and I still have some wet places. So let me go ahead and dry this real, real quick. Because I'm making a mess. <laughs> But the reason I'm liking those butterflies so much is I already have them fussy cut out. So that's the sweet thing. It's already done. <clears throat> All right, let me look and see about a stencil. Or maybe the blue splatter it should be next. Do I have anything dark blue enough? Let me look, let me look. I know I have some... Um, writing ink but it's not going to be permanent so that is a problem all right maybe i'll use the india blue that should be dark i'll see what eileen's gonna say here in a minute you still doing it yeah oh. i'm on for another few minutes maybe some fish why fish on a hussy bag, Eileen? Eileen's giving me crap. You need to stay in here and protect me from her, Robert. Yeah, what'd he do? Put his headphones on, walked right outside the door. Yeah, you're a big girl. Take care of yourself, you big fat loser. Why fish? I don't have any fish. All right, there. I added some black to the boat. Swimming in the nude. <laughs> All right, where'd my rag go? There we go. All right, let's see about getting some. Oh, that's going to be nice. Dark, dark, dark blue splatterage. I'm good with that. Let me add some little bit of water to it so I have plenty of splatterage. This is going to be like indigo blue, actually. 
If we don't like it, we'll wipe it off. Eileen likes splatterage though, so should not be a problem. Is that good? You like that? Some going off the edge. All right. Splatters and drippage. Are, I think so too, Eileen. You you can never go wrong with splatters drippage and circles. You just can't. Should I add a couple of um, drippages coming off the top? Do you like the drippage? Now I'll help it a little bit. Splatter, drippage, circles. Oh my! <laughs> now we'll grunge it up a little bit. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of grunge in your art. And I hope Jean's taking a nap or knitting or something because she's definitely not going to be happy with this. How many is enough? Three or four? Well, you have to do it in uneven numbers, so. I'll put There, we let them touch. That's good. Your circus, your monkeys. Yes, indeed. It is my circus. All right, we're going to dry this. All right, dry it real quick. You see a lady on the right side. Is that the paper? Over in here? Is this what you're talking about? I see a face over here. But no, that's not. It's just whatever design happened. That was not by design. Happy accident. <laughs> Yes. Under looks like a long dress. 
Oh, you mean this here looks like a long dress? Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's spooky, huh? All right. While that's drying real quick, I'm going to go ahead and mix some more ink because I didn't mix enough for all the splatterage and all this stuff. So let me mix some more real quick. Undercover, do we know you? Or do you just here for attention? You probably might not want the kind of attention I give you. Schlep rocks lady. All right, there, we've got some ink ready. Just had a call to say my niece Karen was rushed. Oh, no, Dorothy. Gosh, I hope it's nothing serious. I hope she'll be okay. All right. Time to flip this over and do some splatterage and drippage on the other side. Because I want to use the peacock ink. I don't think I'm getting splatterage everywhere. I hope not. If I am, I always find out later. <laughs> Yay me. All right. What's up, stinky boys? Oops. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dry this real quick. They don't know yet what the problem is. Well, one nice thing is medical technology is amazing and the strides they've made are remarkable. So trust that you've got good doctors that know what they're doing. I'm actually going to let that air dry for a minute. And while that's air drying, we're going to look for a stencil. Well, I've got to get this out of the way. We're going to look for a stencil. I like these little ones best. But this bag is big enough that I actually could do some other stuff. Actually, a flower with the butterflies might not be too bad. And that one's not good. I don't like that one. There's some circles. I always like circles. You can't go wrong with circles. They're just some designs. <laughs> All right, let's look at these. I need to bring some of my different ones out from the stencil storage because I always go to these because they're right at my elbow. They're always, but another thing, they're small and I like small designs. So I invariably will go to the circles. 
The lines really aren't bad, though, either. I really like this one. These are bigger. Hmm. No flowers. Okay, no flowers. No flowers. That one is out. And I'm just looking here. I wonder where... Oh, there's my little circle one. My favorite one of all the ones I have, in all honesty, is the little circle one. Like this one, you cannot go wrong with this stencil. This little circle one, it's the best. But on this bigger bag, I might be able to get away with a little bit bigger designs. <clears throat> Will do, Jay Midge. Yeah, maybe this um this one, the lines. Since we've got the drippage and it's already got the lines going on. Maybe I'll just do that. All right, let me dry this real quick. You always go to the circle stencil. See, I do too, Eileen. I always do. One nice thing I like about circles, too, um, is they're non-directional. Like, it doesn't matter what direction. They're, like, they're good no matter what. Like, with the lines, now I have to decide, do I want them going up and down? Do I want them diagonal, sideways, you know, a mixture of each? There's more decisions, and decisions are not always good. You could not, Jamie. You wouldn't foul it up. But I'm like Eileen. Let me look. It seemed like I had, unless I moved them, I might have moved them. But actually, that. Kaiser Craft Birch one is not bad, but I like this. I was just thinking I like that square one too. And you think these are all the stencils I have? You guys, I have I don't even know how many gazillion stencils, or I could just do numbers. Do this stencil in white and put the wax on it. Do this stencil in white and put the wax on it. Okay. Yeah, because then the, the wax is going to look more its color. Shimmer blue ink splatters. Shimmer blue ink splatters. That's entirely possible. Oh, it's hard being me right now. You know what? I don't have any shimmer blue. Um, I have the shimmer green and the shimmer purple or shimmer pink. Brown wax. Nope, I'm going to use the peacock wax. Brown would be very tempting with this color screen. Pearl. Let me see. Seems like I did end up with... I do have some gold. Um, FW ink. Just looking, looking, looking. Which other one? Well, hell, I ended up with two of the gold. Are they different? No, I have two gold. Yay, me. All right, maybe we'll do some gold splatters. The ink you use for Smack and Dragon. Okay, that wasn't sh um, the shimmer part of it. CB was the green. This was the shimmer. The blue was Liquitex. 
phthalo cyanine blue. Um, and then the other shimmer color was the purple. Those are the only two shimmer colors. And then I used the dark green. I do like the dark green. It is some um, kind of pretty. I have to say that. Gold is good also. Yeah. See? Yeah, it looked blue, but it's really... Um, I don't have silver. You know, I'm not much of a silver girl. I'm. You guys have convinced me to go for the gold, and I have done that now. Um, <clears throat> but I, I don't have any silver that I can think of. But I have the FW gold. We're going to add some of it. And it's, I don't know how shimmery it is. These were the best buy I think I've ever made, these FW inks. I had so much fun playing with those. And um, it, I've only got 10 minutes left until Debbie comes on. So I probably am going to finish this off screen. Yeah, I'll do some gold splatterage. Um, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and finish this off camera and then I'll just have to post a picture later when I finish it but I'll go ahead and tell you what I think I'm gonna do and I reserve the right to change my mind if I want I think I am going to use since I've got circles already on there with the splatterage I think I'm done with the circles except I will um, do some circles, just the edges of the circles, right? And I'll probably do that in gold. Um, but I think I'm actually going to use this, but I'm and I'm going to do it on this side right now because I want to see it and I want to. I want you guys to see it. Um, is the peacock wax? So, and these are the circles I'm talking about. I'll probably do some of those. Um, where's the wax? Where's, where'd I put my wax? Here it is. So let's just add some of them and I'm going to add them because I've already got the drippage going up and down and the circle edge. Oh, I could fake that smell so good. And I've got to kind of stay away where I've got wet stuff. So I'm going to just do some down in here. And I'm going to do them going up and down. And I think this wax melted either in the mail or someplace on the way. Because it had all melted up to the top. But it's still awesome. So I'm just smooshing it down right now. Look at that. How yummy that is. I don't necessarily want it real thick. And I'm not going to do a lot of it. Just some here and there. Can you see that? That is gorgeous. Yeah, I probably did in the heat waves. I agree. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is just gorgeous. Can you see that? It's not too in your face. It's just there. Oh man, that is so pretty. Eileen, I'm surprised that this is not your favorite wax because when you put it on like that, it's such a gorgeous green. I'm, I, if, I don't, if I'm not careful here, I'm really going to goof up. Um, and get something in that gold. The, I love these Finnabar waxes. I don't know why, because they're really not my normal stuff that I love. But I'm loving these. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. And then ultimately, I will add some gold circles. I'm going to add those blue butterflies. I'll go around the edge with the dark blue. Um, 
What is that? Does it dry? Yes. Um, Connie, this is, um, it's a Finnebear product. Finnebar, Finnebear. I call her Finnebear product. She's made a bunch of different colors of these. I don't even know. I think Xander said that they're like 26 different colors or something, Z. Um, <clears throat> and they do dry, but like right now it's, it's waxy. So it's got to set itself. And if you, um, heat set it, it will, um, bubble, but when it dries, it's, um, like it doesn't move. In fact, on one of those that I showed earlier, where is it? Let me see. Yeah, this one. Okay, this here is the light green wax that I put through a stencil, and it's when it dries, it's hard. Like, but you can get it to bubble too. So it just takes a while to set up, but when it sets, like it's permanent. It's not going anywhere. Oh, Debbie may not stream. Okay. Okay, Z, Z just said there's like 27 colors. I would see why someone who searched would like it. blue flowing cool. Yeah, I'll grunge this up a little bit more. But I, I don't want to put any more of this on because now I'm kind of stuck letting this dry. Um, I will try and heat set it a little bit. But I don't want it to bubble. I want it to stay nice and crisp. And when you heat it, oh boy, does it smell good. Because it truly is like wax. As soon as you hit it with a heat gun, like it shines and you can see that its edges have kind of, it's just not as crisp is about all I can say. It looks really cool on this. And it, it's the color's nice because it's not in your face. I like that. All right. I'm going to have to let this sit on this side, which means this is going to have to stay a mess for a while. Um, let's see where I'm going to put maybe the butterflies. Where's the gold ink? Get out my circle of junk. Try and find my little one. Yeah, there's a the little one. No, it's not going to fit in there. Dope. Eileen, you should be really, really, really happy because this place looks like 15 tornadoes went through it. Oh, buffering. Let me see. Okay. Just hit the live if you buffered. Yeah, someone else's messes. Yeah, I knew that'd make you happy. Where'd the little one go? There it is. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four. Okay, I've got six elements, so I want one more. I'm going to go with the middle one off the edge over here. 
Me? All right. So that's kind of how I'm going to finish the background. I will do some more wax. Um, it's still too wet. I can smush that in a minute. And then if these butterflies aren't big enough, I will go in search of some different ones. But I'll probably put two butterflies on each side. Somewhere like that. I'll ink the edges. And I'll add gold to the butterfly like I butterflies like I did before. It might be fun too if I decide to do it. Um, I may actually end up doing a quote on here too. Only on one side though. Yeah, a gold circle always makes a nice pop. Yeah, but this bag is big enough that I actually could maybe add a quote um, in the center or off to one edge or something. Um, so yeah, this was fun. Eileen always comes up with great ideas. I hate to say that out loud where she can hear it, but she does generally when I do what, um, what she recommends, I'm never disappointed. And chances are this bag when it's done will become a giveaway. I kind of like the butterflies because a couple different places I've got the Timmy butterfly paper in the background. So um, this is your favorite of them all. Yeah, I like it. I think it's cool looking. And I definitely will ink the edges with probably the dark blue. You may need to buy more bags. I was, yeah, you're probably right, Eileen. I probably will have to because one, I, I enjoy the hell out of doing them. And they make nice giveaways. They really do. Um, so, yeah. Is Debbie okay? But this one, actually, if, if you wanted to just get really crazy now, you could paint some greenery on it or stencil greenery on it. Like, leaves stencils would be good. Um it, t it did, it did. Oh, she has a headache. Oh, no. See, that was my problem with my allergies. My allergies have been worse this year than ever, any time in my entire life. And I don't know if it's because there's where the water was high. We maybe have mold or something out in the grass. I don't know. But I have never had um, allergy headaches and issues um, like I have this year, this has been the worst ever. So yeah, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. So I hope she's getting some good rest. But anyway, my three hours are up. Um, I appreciate you guys coming every, each and every one of you. Thanks for your support. Did Okay. I was going to say, if you didn't do a thumbs up, do a thumbs up because it will make the video these videos more visible to other people. Um, yeah. And I'm going to start cleaning and I look at my hands. I may have half of it cleaned by tomorrow morning. Um, yeah. And then I might, if my book comes later on in the week, I may jump on for an impromptu stream um, to play in my book that I've got coming. So yeah, I'll just wait for my book to come. So thank you so much. Thanks for coming, Fiona. It was good to see you. And give Hope a hug and a smooch for me. And I'll see you um, in the morning, Kathy. I look forward to your stream. So, all right, ladies. Go do something fun and productive. And I will see you later. Adios.